Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to learn how to import images from our DSLR camera directly into our mobile device using On1 Photo Mobile. We'll then publish those images to On1360, where we can view and edit them from any of our computers or devices. So to import your images from your DSLR camera, just capture your photographs, you can eject your SD card, and then we're going to need to plug this into our mobile device. Now for this video, I'm using an iPad. So since it's an iPad, I'm going to need an adapter to plug the SD card into. So what I'm using here is I just have a little adapter that I can plug into the charging port for my iPad, and it just has a USB port on the end of it. Now what I insert into that USB port is this SD card to USB. So I have this SD or this adapter with USB to the charging port for Apple, and then an SD card to USB. So I just insert the SD card like that, and then I insert the adapter into there, and then voila, final bit like that. Now, depending on your mobile device, it might not look like this. Um, some mobile devices actually have slots that you can insert the SD card into. That's not how Apple is. So we have all of these adapters for it, but it works all the same. So now we can jump into our mobile device, we can jump into On1 Photo Mobile, and we can actually import images directly into it right from our DSLR camera. So now I'm inside On1 Photo Mobile, and to import those images from the SD card, I'm gonna head to my local photos here. I'm gonna head up to this top menu. I'm gonna tap it, and I'll just tap Import. Now rather than going to From Photos here, we're going to go to From Files and Devices. So now I can browse all of the different files in my iPad, and I can also view any external drives that I have plugged into my mobile device. So I'm just going to head up and I'll tap Browse here, and I can go to this untitled SD card. I can navigate through these default folders, And now I have all of these different photos on my SD card that I can import directly into my mobile device. So I'm just gonna head up and I'll tap this select button here. And now I'll just choose a few of these images. And once I've selected all of the images that I want to import, I'll just head up and choose Open. So now I have those surfing photos right here that I just imported right from that SD card. So now let's just open one of these photographs. I'll navigate through these images to find which one I want. And let's use this photograph. So now I'm just going to rate this image a five star photograph by tapping on the left side of the screen and I'll drag up and that will give it a five star rating. Then I'm going to head down and I'll tap on this edit button and then I'll just choose AI auto. And now that's automatically developed all of the images settings for me. So now I'll just head back here. I'm going to head up and tap select. I'll grab these images. I'll head up to this top menu. I'll choose add to album. And then I'll add these into this surfing album here that I have published to on1360. So now that these images are added into the surfing album, I can view and modify any of these edits or changes directly from my tablet or any of my other computers or devices. So now if I'm using On One Photo Raw on my laptop or my desktop computer, I can head over to my albums that I have published to On One 360. I can access that surfing album 
And now I have all of those images that I just published to Onmon 360 from my tablet. So I can go into that one that I already edited here. And if I go into my develop tab, I can see that it has that AI auto that I enabled on my tablet. So let's go into the effects here. I'm going to add a filter and I'm just going to add a LUTs filter. And I'll just stylize it with a preset. Now I'll just head down and choose done. Now I can view all of the changes that I made from any of my computers or devices because I have these photographs published to Onmon360.